Welcome. So this is a, a, a relatively long question with three parts. It's a graphical question. It says uh, a student plots a graph of kinetic energy versus speed. Which trace uh, should she use? And um, kinetic energy I'm showing as u subscript k, and uh, often it's shown as k. Uh, just you know, get used to interpreting the different different letters. It's just short handwriting. It's just a note. Um, so basically, I need a relationship which links the kinetic energy with speed, and the most obvious one that comes to mind is k is equal to one half m v squared. And then what I like to do is I like to emphasize to myself that I have k vertically, and I have speed v horizontal. So I make those in a different color so they stand out. Then I have a half m and then I have v squared. Now, frankly, m is not going to change, so I can make it whatever value I want, so why not call it uh, 2, and then a half times 2 is 1. So I can say, well, really what I'm dealing with here is k, and if I don't like putting equals, I can put down is proportional to v, let me put that in black squared. So then I need to and, and many people can look at this and say, oh, exactly, I know which one it is. But let's say we're still learning and we're not sure yet. So what I do is I put down a column with K, because that is one of the axes. And I put a column with V, because that's the other axes. The mistake I see people doing is they put down K, and they'll put down the V squared, because they're looking at the equation rather than the graph. And then... You know, this is your dependent variable, that's your independent variable. Let's play with our independent variable. So let that be 0. And when that 0 squared is 0, let that be 1. 1 squared is 1. Let that be 2. Uh, 2 squared is 4. Let that be 3. 3 squared is 9, and so on. And then just briefly, if I do a, a quick plot, I can have k and I can have v. And just looking at these numbers, I have 0, 0, I have 1 and 1, I have oh, 4 and 2, and I have oh, 9 and 3. And I think you can see that that is curving steeper and steeper and steeper, which is e. So I've got a decent answer for my first one. Let's put a box around this work so I don't get confused and change color pens, that always helps. And look at my second one, and the second one says a student plots a graph of gravitational potential energy versus height, uh, which trace should she see? So again, I'm thinking about equations, and I know my UG is equal to MGH. The height is the height from some zero origin, origin level. And again, what I like to do is I like to Oh, look, I'm plotting UG, and I'm also plotting H, and then the other stuff is just the MG, and again, I can do what I like with MG, they're not changing, so if I made my mass one-tenth of a kilogram, then one-tenth times ten equals one, whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to get this to go to one, so I can say, well, yeah, okay. UG would be equal to 1 times H, or if, I'm, if I want to be a bit more uh, precise, I'd say, well, it's clearly proportional to H. And then I say, oh, well, uh, either from here or from here, most people can see that it's going to be a linear relationship. Because, and if that doesn't, if that's not obvious to you, then just remember that if H is 0, UG is 0. If H is 1, UG is 1. If H is 2, UG is 2. It's pretty simple to say that's that's linear, so that's going to be D. That's my choice for there. Let's put this in a box so that I don't get confused. And then let's look at our last one. And the last one says a student plots a graph of spring potential energy versus displacement from equilibrium. Which trace should she see? And again, I'm trying to think of an equation that links these guys and it's basically oh, 
the spring potential is equal to 1 half times k times uh, delta x squared. Uh, okay, and there's my displacement. So, okay. So, if I do the same thing I've been doing, I want to plot us, so that's in red, and I want to plot delta x, so that's in red, but the rest of it, 1 half k, now that's squared. So I can make my half k come out to be 1, it's not going to change during this, this process, um, but what I end up with is saying, well, mu s is proportional to delta x uh, squared and I can, again, I'm, I'm running out of space, so <laughs> forgive me, I'm going to steal a little space from this side <laughs> and I'm going to plot uh, us and I'm going to plot that against delta x, not delta x squared, I'm looking at my graph at this point, I'm looking there and I'm looking there, I'm not looking at the equation now I look at the equation and I say, oh yeah, well, when that equals zero, that equals zero, and when that equals one, that equals one, and when that equals two, two twos are four. I said a half k was equal to one, so I could ignore it. Two twos are four, so when that's two, that's four. When that's three, that's nine. And so I see, oh, well, okay, that's going to be this guy again. So three answers, not all the same, um, but the approach is always the same. I read the question and I try and think of a relationship. And then I go back to my graph and I look and say, what parts of this equation am I plotting? And I make a note of those. I like to put them in a different color. And then I say, okay, which complicating bits that I can kind of simplify if I just make them come out to be 1. So half's not going to change, m's not going to be changed, m can be any value. So make make it equal to a number which when multiplied by half equals 1. Then forget about it. And then I do a little table and I say well given the value of uh, speed what would k be etc. And I did the same thing over here when you think about it. It's the same process I just let the process take care of the situation and I get a, a decent answer. So there we have it.